peace and love to y'all. How are y'all doing? This is your golden healer and we are just vibrating high right now. I hope you are loving yourself enough right now to sit here and listen to me because I am about to blow your mind with ultimate wisdom that I'm collecting along my journey through my own experiences and at the same time being connected to the soul of earth. So let me just clean, clean the air a little bit as I am sitting on top of this beautiful mountain, okay, and absorbing the purest energy that is nature. I love to be connected because I am always connected. It's not that I love to be connected. I am always connected to the soul of art, to the ether. Because at night sky, you get to see the real sky. And I am a night person. Like I love to see the truthfulness, this entire milky galaxy. So now, I just want to remind you right now, by blowing your mind, taking you to the right direction, is that you are special. Everybody here on planet Earth is special. There is nothing that is lacking in within you. The only person that can block the way is actually your own self. Is actually by you block your own gift. It's not by telling everybody. I'm always open, like my heart is always open. I speak out loud with my authenticity. So, guys, what I want to let you know is that the only person that can block your own way is actually your own thoughts. It's yourself because your uncontrolled mind that is giving you lots of fal false thoughts, wrong thoughts with wrong emotions is blocking the way. And then you are sitting there and thinking, wow, that person have, you know, knows more or doing more. They're more capable. No. Guess what? Humans mind are so capable. It is full of infinite wisdom, infinite possibilities, infinite creativity. The only thing that is lacking is actually yourself, your how do you say, your unproductivity, your laziness. Now you are like, well, you know, I don't know what, what is my gift. How do I know what is my gift? Well, I can tell you what is your gift. <laughs> no, no, I can't. You are the only person who can dive so deep within in yourself to know what is your own gift. Unless you communicate with your ancestors, your spirit guides. Unless you come to someone where you can receive, where this person is a bridge like I am. I am a bridge with, to the higher room. Like I'm going to help you to know those messages. What has been waiting for you. So if they reveal to me what your gift is then i can share it with you other than that i don't know i can force it i cannot fake it i can't do so the message has to come by the spirit from the heaven to give that to you other than that you have to dive within in yourself through meditation to know the answer or watch over your childhood like go back to your childhood and find what what you used to do and what really made you happy like joyful in that gave you lots of inspiration positivity love balance what i don't find only one thing within me i have so many things guys i have like so many gifts within me i don't know sometimes my heart cries because i'm already doing a lot with myself with my mind with my body being in in alignment with my soul, traveling the world, knowing myself more into this mystical journey and helping others. I'm already doing enough, but still there are so much to do. 
so many things that i love so many things that makes me happy like it's it's beautiful like i'm gifted so do you there is no separation so it can be same with you maybe it's not only one thing that you are gifted with you can be gifted with so many other things you can come from you might be living your life in so many different kind of dimensions and you already mastered some skills that exist within you that comes automatically like wow i am good in it you know all of these images and inspiration all of these and you may think like wow you know don't put yourself in a box where everybody is you are special you have something different that you you desire to be reawakened and i feel like that every people here on planet earth you know every avatar have its own gift to share because this only avatar it's just one there is you know before back in the time when i was kid and young i used to think like i used to think like once they say something like this well there is only one you into trillions of pieces there is nothing nobody like you i never felt it okay i i didn't understand that those lines until now it's true because there is nothing nobody into this existence that is exactly like you you can search for yourself like you can search for this avatar in entire, entire world in every country in every nation there is nothing no similarity than even if your kids cannot be similar it's just one masterpiece existing into this existence i don't get sad by knowing that this one and only avatar after it it goes back to the earth this is what we call yulo like you only live once it's actually this avatar but the soul within it's infinite is it's immortal this body is mortal that's why i really love to take care of my body i really love to tell myself every single day you know you have your ugliness i have my ugliness too okay you don't always have to look beautiful you have your highs and lows within one day you wake up you feel like you are one of the most beautiful being here on planet earth one day you wake up you feel like you are the ugliest <laughs> so so it's not that you you wake up with self self confident and next day you don't but the beauty has to sign from within you just have to love yourself so much that you see your beauty you can feel your beauty because this body is mortal there is nothing nobody going to be created like this right here so do you that is why i'm loving myself i am giving this body i'm treating my body as the temple of god because the god makes it to be aware of itself in this temple it's not somewhere else it's not up there it's in here i can hear those voices i can communicate so that is why i'm just rising in love with myself and i am just seeing beauty in each part of my body i love my eyes i love my lips i love the way i talk i love my teeth i love my high days i love my low days i love my voice i love my hair i love each of my body part and then i am taking responsibility if something i don't like about my body i can fix it i can fix it i'm not telling you to go and cut down your body and just surgery no i'm talking about eating healthy going out for walk working out you can fix everything like it's so beautiful and those people that knows you now in one year they will not be able to recognize you again if you know how to take care of yourself what to offer to this temple of god how does your body work you know but then in depression and stress you eat bunch of stuff and the next day you feel like your tummy is full is big you are like ah oh. you know you don't feel sexy anymore and that's okay do you know so many people they come to the self realization is that it just one and only body this is mortal all you have in this lifetime is this body this is your best friend and it, do you know why people take they do get pregnant and they have kids is because of they want to reproduce the same image but in the end is not the same anyway but maybe some part of you they get all, all of your kids but not fully right and also there are other causes of reproduction but i'm going to talk about it later but listen 
this body is your only body and that is why many people accept the way it looks because it is beautiful just the way it is maybe in your eyes is not but someone else does those strangers that you those strangers that is your friend you just didn't talk yet they can look at you and be like wow she's so attractive he's so handsome right so you don't know what how which beautiful eyes you have on yourself just by being yourself just the way you are that's why i'm living in a place where everybody put lots of tight clothes even if 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 they're unhealthy they put lots of because it's curves it's beautiful it's natural yes you are a food lover it's okay to have that tummy so but if you are if this is triggering you causing you loss of down mental health you can fix it it just takes loss of discipline, loss of workout, loss of sweating, loss of hard work to be done to get the dream body. Okay? So now listen. All of these people what I am talking about, you are the only one in this existence. There is nothing that is like you. So you have to rise in love with yourself over and over again. So now when you took rebirth, everybody, like every avatar, I am not talking about right Yes, I talked about soul gifts. Now I'm talking about body gift. It actually born with gifts as well. This avatar, this body have different kind of skills. Maybe you have psychic abilities through your pineal gland. And this body helps you to be more awakened to it. Your body helps you. Maybe your body is athlete inside. So if you work out, it's easier for you to get those muscles set up. And then your body may be born with certain gift, like this charm, that, that glow that comes from your body, like what it is coming from. That is why many of us, if we study astrology, we can find like this body is representing like your ascendant. Okay, like how your body appeared, but it's more deeper than those astrology. Astrology matter, but there is much more. So each of us born with certain gift to give it to earth, give it to earth. So now our body have even more, like when the soul comes and sit in it, allows your body to move, using your body to manifest, use your body to create, use your body to do the things that is here to do your body this is your body but after i am done with my work through this avatar i'm gonna leave this body i'm gonna leave this body okay so that is why I, sometimes i get emotional because i love this body this avatar so much <laughs> so much and that is why your body subconsciously it is also upset because deep down it knows that that it's going back to our to its elements that it's been created with. Yes, I do believe in spiritual avatars. Like you have like seven layers. You have you have energetic bodies. You have seven energetic bodies. You have energetic vortices in the astral body. There are different kind of body. And right now I'm talking about the physical body because it is it is valuable. Without it, how will you be able to experience the life here in Earth? You know, it got blood, it got water, like it is just connected with the elements. It's made up with sunlight, that is why it's hot. It's made up with water, that is why 70% or more or less, it's water in the body. Made up with air, you are breathing, the air is existing. Made up with the soil, that is why, you see, that is why you look the way you look. You have to rise in love with yourself and really communicate with your body. Learn how to communicate with your body because your body is speaking to you. Learn how it works, what it wants to do. Because it is, the soul is already helping the body. I am, I am helping the body. But body is here to help you as well, help, help itself. And also listening, like submitting to the soul that existing within. Otherwise, your body can be corrupted. It can be lost. It can disappear into this concrete jungle. This, that is why you have to keep it clean. You have to keep it clean and listen to it. Become your own best friend with this body. Okay? It's very important. 
So what I'm trying to say again, so now everybody is special, everybody is born with gifts, right? So now, now there's also like body attractions, right? So now there's also soul connection. So there is also mental connection. So now these bodies, it's born, it's raised, and now this body is an adult, already experienced a lot. So you have to listen to your body and give it more love. Give it more love in a healthier way so that you can hear the voices. I always talk about hearing the higher voices of your soul, hearing the higher voices of the spirit, your ancestors, your your spirit guides, hearing the voices of the spirit that exist in every living thing. Telepathic communication, energetic communication, seeing the unseen. I always talk about it. So... I can just tell you because I am experiencing it. And if you don't experience it, you don't know if it's true. That is why as a master teacher right here, I am teaching you in my lives how to log into that through this self-work. Every single day, I'm trying to make love and live and give you the information that way I am experiencing it and I'm not the only one. When I first started my journey, I thought I'm the only one. But now I realize we are millions. We are a big family here on planet Earth that is experiencing. So again, the, your body is bonded to your mama. Your body is bonded to your siblings. Your body is bonded to your father. Your body is bonded to your ancestors. Like, you know, it's all love. It's all pure love. So your body, the image that you carry, rise in love with that. Rise in love with that. Sometimes you can see me in my lives. Inside, I might not have that greatest self-esteem. But I still speak my truth because the message is more important. Your work is more important. Your creativity and gift more important rather than sitting there and thinking how you look. Rather than listening to your false emotions and false thoughts. There is more important stuff. That's why so many people are going viral right now. You don't have to be sexy. You don't have to have this sexy body, six packs just to go viral. Right? You don't have to be, oh, perfect, have, having the best lover. No. It just happened. It's just happening. You just have to think right. And the only way to think right, when, when someone come and knock on your door, like, hey, you are here to think right right now. <laughs> and you do so. I'm just cleansing your mind right now. And this is what I'm doing. I'm just bringing you to this ultimate self-awareness, which is more important, rather than being stuck on something that is not giving life. You are just losing your moment. You are just losing your breath. You are losing your present moment. That is why come back, recenter yourself and start to think right. What is more important? What makes you happy? And find out what you are here to do instead of just working for the survival mood that we are all in, working every day for food and shelter. There is much more that you are here to do. Maybe someone is passing by and you smiled at that person and this is the work that you are doing for today. Someone is having carry, you are out there running and hey, do you need help? Someone there that need a hug, hug them. You heal them with your hug. You level up so much that your essence, your present can heal those people that is around. And the only way to heal them, they are worst going to come out to you. And now if you start to react like them, how are you going to heal I'm still learning. I'm still learning and you are here to experience nothing to be scared of. You are here to experience and becoming your greatest version. That's why let's go and let go. And then the karma have your karma, your own actions. Whatever you give, it shall be given to you. In, in, in many other forms, it can be given to you. That is why be humble. You know, be humble. And don't go around and look like, oh, that person have that. Why don't I? Oh, universe, are you lacking something? No, you are abundance. Maybe the lacking is within you. That is why you cannot manifest that desire, that needy thing. 
you have to just purify yourself become your greatest pure inside with good intention going to help you to attract what you desire what you want because the universe if it takes longer time doesn't give you what you are asking for end up giving you giving you giving you what even much more that you never imagined Maybe you will sit there and you are like, oh, give me one thousand dollar, and universe taking long time, and you are like going into that confusion state within in yourself because it's taking longer. So many people don't even believe in love or themselves, and then suddenly, instead of one thousand dollar, now you receive ten thousand dollar. Now you receive one billion dollar. So. There are strangers that can give you more, help you more, love you more than your closest ones. So that stranger is just your friend that you didn't talk to yet. So be conscious about all of these good things, okay? I was trying to tell you even more magical, mystical thing that I that I log into through my meditation. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna. Try to remember it. I know that I should write it all down, but I'm gonna remember what it, it just stuck there. It's somewhere here. I want to take it out, but I don't remember it right now. Maybe because I already said enough. <laughs> so hey guys, thank you all for listening. Make sure to share this live and thank you, Kande. It was I'm I'm feeling happy right now to experience your energy. Thank you all for listening. Make sure to share this live, and at the same time, if you want to book any angelic session, if you are having hard time communicating with your guardians, and there are messages that's been knocking on your door, and you are feeling it, then come to me. I will give you the answer. You can book your session on Facebook with me. Stay blessed. Namaste.